Welcome to the History Hunter and my adventures with the World War II time frame. Just passing an area, haven't been here for some years. I'm just gonna have a quick uh, look around, see if I can uh, locate or find anything from the past. And I'll definitely share my findings with you here today, so let's start the hunt. Got my trusty macro racer with me. And I'm just starting up here on the top side and work myself down towards the end of the hill here. Um, it's been a lot of bad weather lately, so it hasn't been that nice to go out, but now it's clearing up, at least for today. So just going past this area, I have some hours to kill, so why don't do it? There's some iron signals here, but I'm not after that. Today is one of these days that you don't really care what you find. Um, a lot of this um, iron cable that is uh, leftovers from the uh, German uh, Wehrmacht positions barbed wire fences. So a lot of that here. Germans had a listening station here. You probably see some pictures of huge listening devices looking like huge loudspeaker speakers. So this is one of those locations and uh, there were some barracks, some uh, small bunkers and stuff like that. So nothing at all to see here today, but uh, you never know what you're going to find. That looks like a chisel and that makes sense because the Wehrmacht did take a lot of war prisoners and I know for sure that some of them worked at this spot to build the barracks and uh, the infrastructure. All right. That stuff is poking out of the ground. That is roof material. Could well be that that was on some of the barracks or the small huts they had. They had equipment, ammunition, all kinds of small um, buildings that they kept their equipment in. So this could easily be from some of the uh, before mentioned uh, small buildings. Very old wooden pole. I guess that would be for the power supply or maybe communication lines being hung up. That's cool. That looks like a very old, what's it called, a dynamo for a bike. This will be attached or sort of scrubbing against the rubber tire and it turns it around and produces some electricity and you can have a soldier riding a bike with the light on at night, who knows. Looks very old if you ask me. That's nice, very nice. First I thought it was a rifle barrel, but it looks like it's just a metal bar. It's a wedge in between some rocks here, so try to pry it out, but it won't come out, so I think I'll just leave that. I see a running trench leading down to the lower area here. Trench is coming up here, passing that old telephone pole, communication pole, that's the, like the other ones that we found. It comes over here and it continues all the way up here. So I know where that leads to. So it's definitely, a, it's almost filled in now, but it's been used so many years, so it's still here. Ah, crap, crap, crap. I just walked straight through a spider web. Ah, oh, crap. I hate it. Ooh, that was a huge web. Why didn't I see it? Oh, I'm gonna continue along this small fence here, see if that could bring up something. Ah, oh, shit, crappy spiders. 75. Do I see something there? I do. I think I do. What is that? Huh. Um, all right, I don't know. Some sort of metal thingy. Doesn't look like a military fuse or top of a grenade or anything, but uh, all right. A lot of people ask me why I'm using that small coin head. And it's like a sniper coil for me. You can go in between the rocks, in between the rubble, you know, in between all kinds of debris around the bunkers. You can always find some way to stick it in where 
the large coil won't fit and I can easily find a lot more with this coil. Uh, it's a bit more work to bog it back and forth but it's very sensitive, it's very accurate with the pinpointing and at the same time it reaches a lot of area. I think that a lot of people have misunderstood the point of this type of coil. I think it's only for digging coins in the fields but it's it's very good for this top type of um, you know commando ride <laughs> expeditions like this. Something here. Have a look at that. 19, probably just iron, but I'll, I'll give it a go. Actually here, thunder and lightning in the horizon here. Don't like that. Um, look at that, I found this thing here. Could easily have been a food ration box from the German here. Normally they are bigger, but uh, that's exciting. Some sort of... That is a cartridge actually. But what type is it? I can't see it. You got this thing here, that's actually a battery. Single cell battery. Wow. Probably some other bits and pieces here as well. That is the famous coal piece. You have a piece of coal. That is the most sure sign of uh, German activity, or is it? It looks like coal. Maybe it's melted back a lot. Something here. Oh, it's a small trash pile actually. Single cell batteries. All kinds of things. Exciting. In that hole, there's something that I would consider worth a small holy Madonna. Never seen anything like it, probably will never do, and uh, I'll share that with you right here. Look at that. Here is a piece of uh, toothpaste. Is that a, look at that, a small spoon that could have been used late last by a German soldier drinking his coffee or whatever. But have a look here. Look at that piece down there. Looks like some sort of ceramic. And what does it say? It said Czechoslovakia. That is absolutely amazing. It was just here. Is that a... Well, that's a piece of a German mouse clip on top there as well. But look at that. That is a tile. Looks like a tile. Never ever seen anything like it. And it pieces together and it says Czechoslovakia with the old style spelling. That is amazing. That is truly special. What is that? That's just a metal tube. A lot of pieces in here, but that is something special. I've never seen that ever before. Really love that. The spelling Czechoslovakia. Wow. Uh, there are, there's a marking on the back there. I can't figure out what it says. It's not silver, but it's very pretty. And I guess the uh, German who used it last probably took it from the civilians around here or maybe had it in his pocket all the way from his home. Who knows? But I'm just gonna leave it as it is here and I'm gonna clean it up and I'll show you if I find some sort of markings or whatever. This one came out of there. You can see some markings in the middle there. It's uh, lightweight aluminium. Got an o-ring here. Easily be some I think it's been melted. Could have been some uh, military piece. Hmm. Looks like I'm on a huge dump pit here. And uh, this one came up as some sort of medical thingy, I would guess. It looks brand new. So it's a piece of whatever's in here. A lot of stuff here. Is that the coal? There is some sort of foil things everywhere. So I'm gonna look through this pile as well, see if something interesting comes up. Turning out to be quite an interesting little spot. Can you see them? Right there. That is very special. I'm not sure, but it looks like uniform buttons. They have an attachment in the middle. And uh, 
definitely the size of uniform buttons. You can see it's attachment in the middle there. But could they have been uh, for the shoulder pads? We found some Czechoslovakian pieces, so I'm not sure whether these are German or what they are. So if anyone could help me out, that would be that'd be nice. I post a picture of them. Wow, my heart is pounding. Oh, this is the time that it could be exciting. Look at that. Look at that little thing there. Let's see, let's see. Let's turn it around. Oh, there are writings there. And I do think it says something in German there. Holy, what have we found here? Latin bish. Wow. That is going to be exciting to dig into because I don't see what it says, but I will definitely find out. My God, this is so exciting. I found some um, some tags and things like that earlier and they are so exciting. This could be a small Holy Madonna moment, so I'm going to leave it as it is and uh, bring it back and uh, we'll have a look at it together. Right, I'm back. Um, this is the most important small pieces that I found and uh, we all remember the tile with the Czechoslovakia uh, writing on. This spoon here turns out to be a um, English one so that's very very strange. This item I haven't been able to identify. There are some numbers and letters there. These I'm absolutely not sure but they do look like buttons, what kind of buttons, I really don't know, but the closest I've come so far is actually a picture that I've seen on the internet from the Soviet uh, uh, troops buttons. I've seen some of them in a display with uh, 30 or 40 other type of uh, Soviet uh, period uh, buttons and uh, that's the closest I have gotten so far. Uh, maybe you can help me out. I don't really know. And then this small piece here, which is one of the most uh, interesting things I found in quite a while. So let's have a look at uh, items like that. So here's the little plate we found. I'm going to tell you a lot about that just in a second. Just wanted to show you some of the other plates that I found earlier. I got lots of them. These are the ones that I really enjoy. Have a um, ceramic sign for a door in a bunker, battery for Feuerglochen. Maybe there were some batteries behind that door for the fire alarm bell. Equipment uh, plate from uh, artillery equipment. This one is very cool. Befehlstelle. I found that outside the bunker area from the um, higher ranking uh, Luftwaffe uh, officers. This one is very very special for me. It's a full story around this one. I think you can watch one of my videos regarding that one. That is very 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 special. Um, these are just metal plates but they have a lot of information and they sort of puts us directly in contact with uh, what happened. So I really really treasure these as they are very special and very rare to find and almost always they are unique in their own way so uh, let's have a look at uh, the one that we found out there today so what does this small thing tell us well first of all it says EM1M R36B and that is quite easy to uh, put into the Google search engine and you will end up with uh, a lot of information and uh, what it is, is actually this thing here. There you go. That's what it's for. It's a calibrating information uh, small plate for this German rangefinder. And uh, this is a setup where the soldier is carrying the rangefinder on his back to make it more steady and um, the guys operating them had to have a very good eyesight and they had to be very precise and be able to uh, read the information from this uh, very very special optical instrument.
This is the uh, writing here. First, it says what it is. It's EM one M R thirty six B, and uh, you have like magnifying six times. Down here on this line, it says uh, Latin Abstand, one thousand six hundred forty centimeter. Probably it's got something to do about uh, how to correct or you know uh, check the optical device. Uh, Berichtigung nach Latte mit Merke and some 23.5 HM. Who knows what that is, but uh, that's probably what they needed to, to, to read uh, or do the procedure correct here. Here you can see a team of soldiers with the uh, equipment. You can see two guys there, one on the left, one on the right, with the um, range finders and it was widely used in both flak and uh, artillery warfare, warfare out in the forest on the plains for the uh, mortar crews it was a very very versatile uh, sort of tool for 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 the german uh, warfare this is what it's all about connecting the dots you know doing some research going to a location finding the relic then putting the dots together piecing it back to the history finding out what it's for and of course the main thing most important is that i can share with all of you just have to say thanks a lot thanks a million thanks 10 million times whatever uh, for you all of you taking time to watch my videos and commenting subscribing and, and and supporting me i really do appreciate that so be my guest feel free to watch any of my material and of course the more you view my stuff the more i'll be inspired to do and I will certainly work very hard to present even more cool stuff later in the future. So um, this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll definitely meet later. Have a nice day and see you later.